Okay, so Jason has not had a chance to play with the obstacle avoidance yet. It's actually a really good thing for him. Uh, big reason he should get a Phantom. Um, so as you can see, when I pick this guy up, there are two cameras in the front of it. One is there and one is there. Um, those are the two cameras. And you're, you're recording on this too, good. Um, now look at, you see that red right there? See, look, yeah, you see it, Jason? Mm -hmm. That is your head. It's saying, oh, look at that. it's saying, I see your head. I or I see big red head. the camera. Yep. So that's telling you it's going to stop. In my experience with, the, uh, with it, it was about seven feet that it, that it stopped. Yep. So we have that sign, that white sign over there. It and says we're, we're not supposed to be on the field. <clears throat> yeah, we're not on the field technically. We're actually on the <laughs> asphalt here. Or the, breakers. Uh, so we're actually going to just fly it over and watch it stop in front of that sign. So um, go ahead, Jason. He's going to be gentle. That's it, it won't go any further? Yeah. Yep. Now back it up a little bit. Turn it towards me. A little higher. Come towards me. Yeah, I see you. I can't go any further, Captain. Back up, you. Did it do that on its own, or are you backing no, up? I did that. All right. <laughs> it does beep, though. It's like a car, you know? Yeah, it's like yeah. a backup sensor on a car. So it actually knows uh, that it's too close to something, and it, again, I, I think I can't run it into myself. Seven feet is about the uh, seven feet is about the distance. That's now, if you turn it around, you could back it into yourself because there's no camera on the back. Right. I imagine the Solo Five will probably, or the uh, uh, Phantom Five will probably have cameras on both sides. Yep. And now let's try the let's try the horizontal avoidance. So okay. basically, you can tell it enable obstacle avoidance in standard flight mode and this says it should try to go around the obstacle so let's try that with the sign yeah you're just gonna go straight towards the sign Oh, we can hear it. It's saying no. Yeah. And you're pushing the stick forward, and it wouldn't, yeah. didn't go around Let me, it. Uh, turn maybe just, the maybe just try going around the left. Edge, go towards the left corner of the sign. Let's try any. Or the right corner. Huh. Let's double check. Make sure we have it enabled. If activated, the aircraft will avoid or obstacles horizontally. What a, is there a vertical one? There's vertical, it looks like here, vertical when there's return to home. So like the idea is that if you are not above the tree line, it will try to go up over it or like a hill. But this, enable obstacle avoidance here. So you've got one set for tap fly, which would mean when you're using the screen to tell it where to go, horizontal. But then you've got this one down here, it's a little confusing the label, right? Because that says allow horizontal under tap light. This just says enable obstacle avoidance. And then it says horizontal in the detail text, which is weird. But it says it will avoid, if activated, the aircraft will avoid obstacles horizontally. Otherwise, it will slow to a stop. So I don't know if it needs to be going a certain speed or if it's Yeah, maybe, try, maybe just try pushing it. Yeah, go a little faster. About the size of the objects. You know, I mean, we don't have anything bigger out here we could, except for those buildings, but we want to do that. Here, let's come stand over here. You want to take it towards us? Yeah. See if it can go around us. Take it a little further back, go backwards a little bit. There you go. Oh. Oh. Yep. This stops. Not going to do it, buddy. Are we missing anything? I don't think so. There's no extra buttons to turn on or anything. That's interesting. That doesn't seem to doesn't seem to do very much, does it? Yeah. Uh, I was getting a little worried there for a second. <laughs> interesting. Huh. Well, 
Part of it works. I'm sure it's supposed to do something. But it definitely avoids obstacles. Yeah. It's probably like, uh, let's see. Yeah, it might be too skinny. Well, see, I can't tell if that's wind drift. I think that's wind drift. Huh. All right, well, let's try something fun then. How do you do the waypoint flying? I have that's what not. I want to know. Have you tried tap fly? I have not. So, beginner tutorial start practice in an open area. Tap screen to the flight flight direction, tap go to start flying. So let's go this way and go. Horizontal, yeah, sure enough. We can tap over here. Next, adjust cruising speed, but with the bar on the right. Oh, so it's going pretty slow. Yeah. Default's pretty slow. Exit. Yeah, you just sort of tap. And I guess you can still control altitude, of course, so we'll take it up. Oh, it shows you ascending, that's kind of cool. I'm going to go over here. And now it doesn't adjust yaw, which is interesting. It's... Yeah, it seems to just stay oriented the same direction. Cruising speed up a little bit. There we go. Where is it? It's hard to tell. Let's go over here to the left. Yeah, no, it's adjusting yaw. Yeah, okay, so it's flying that direction. Uh, yeah. Uh, it turns that way and then turns and now then what happens if I direction. tap below the horizon? Oh, it does descend. Ascending. Hundred feet. Let's come back around. So that's kind of cool. You could actually get it to do a full sort of just, you know, program turn by tapping on the horizon. Yeah, yeah. And I guess if you tap right on the horizon it basically tries to, to level out yeah we're at 109 feet it's very smooth yeah now the question is if i start tapping down <laughs> will it just go all the way to the ground or will bring, it stop bring it over here and try to land it yeah. that way that's uh pretty cool now what happens if i change the camera to Yeah, you tap right on the, I know, you tap right on the horizon and it's not, it's staying level. So it's not... I'm going to tap over here in the field, descending. See land. I don't want to try to land it this way. Well, it's coming down pretty fast, actually. Let's bring it in, let's do stop. See what it does at a really low altitude. Obviously, we don't want it to hit the ground. Tap fly. Let's just slow it way down to like two miles an hour. Question is, can Jason flip both a solo and a phantom today? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it's not letting me descend at this altitude. Check oh, that out. So it stays, it stays yeah. at that altitude and just goes to wherever you put it down. Yeah, there must be a ceiling on it. See? Now it'll probably ascend, or will it? Uh, I don't see it saying it's ascending either. Let's go way up here. Yeah, yep, there it yep, goes. There we go, there we go. But if I had to guess, oh, yep, see, look, it levels out, and that's at 12 feet. So that's actually really cool. That kind of means that you could have a subject roaming around the field. You could just tap to follow just, it. Yeah, I mean, obviously you have the follow me mode, but you could just sort of, you know, look at him and go, I want to go there. Uh, nope, I want to go over here. Let's raise the speed a little bit. That's pretty slick. So I wonder if it's just using GPS coordinates. To... 
estimate where that is? I don't know. That's uh, I think this is probably part of the visual processing, right? It's the same thing that's the active track. Um, I'm guessing it's more visual processing. Obviously, GPS is involved to keep it steady, but uh, wow, that's that's pretty slick.